Welcome to Animals with Scarlet, and this is how to de-tick a wild blue tongue. To de-tick a blue tongue, you will need tweezers, paper towel, an old towel or tea towel, a torch, I use a headlamp because I like to do it by myself, and of course you'll need a tick infested blue tongue. I sit my paper towel next to me and put my tea towel over my legs, but do whatever you feel is comfortable for you and the lizard. Some ticks on blue tongues can be as large as a five cent piece and others can be smaller than a pinhead. It may be a bit overwhelming looking at all these ticks, but don't worry, you'll be fine as long as you don't get any on you. Which is highly unlikely unless you've got them everywhere. So try not to get them everywhere and try to just squish them as soon as you get them onto your paper towel. To begin removing the ticks, grab your tweezers and look for the bigger ones on the lizard first. When you have found the larger ticks, which are usually located under the lizard's arms, there will be a triangle on top of the tick's head. Use your tweezers to grab this triangle. Ticks use their little mandibles to suck into the lizard's skin. You will need to pull that triangle out the way that the mandibles are facing in so then they don't break off and get stuck in the lizard. It sounds complicated, but all you need to do is pull the tick out the way that it's facing in so its little pinches don't get stuck in the lizard's body. A headlamp or a torch comes in really handy when you're trying to get ticks out of a lizard's ears. I use a headlamp so I can get in really close without having to have anyone's hands in the way holding a torch. I also use two pairs of tweezers. Black ones that are flat with a point on the end of them and silver ones that are just pointy. Because the blue tongue's ears are so small, it's hard to get bulky tweezers into them to get the ticks out. That's why I use pointy tweezers like these ones. When grabbing the ticks out of the ears, you don't have to worry so much about the little triangle on the head. It's only for the big ones. So you're able to pull them out by their back. Try to be gentle when grabbing a tick by its back. If its back full of blood pops, it'll be harder to grab the tick. Never grab two ticks next to each other, otherwise blood will splurt up everywhere. There's really no trick to getting ticks out of the ears. You just put your tweezers in, grab one, and then pull it out. If it starts to bleed where a tick was located, don't put any ointment or man-made materials on the lizard. Lizards don't have that stuff in the wild and they can naturally heal. The reason why I remove ticks out of animals is because a tick's saliva, when injected into blood, weakens the blood. With multiple ticks, sucking out a lizard's blood and injecting their saliva into the lizard's body could eventually kill off the lizard. Ticks also cause irritation for the lizard. This is what the ear should look like without any ticks in it. When looking for ticks in the scales, it's tricky because some of the ticks look like they are scales. You have to use your tweezers to lift the scales up and search underneath them. And same as before, once you find a tick, grab it by its back or near its head and pull it out. This is what your piece of paper towel should somewhat look like depending on how many ticks the blue tongue had. Once you've finished, your blue tongue will have a majority of the ticks off it and you can just dispose of those into a bin if you're using paper towel, otherwise if you were using tissue you can flush them down the toilet. Um, so yeah, afterwards I just usually give the blue tongue a nice little berry treat like a strawberry or some banana and then I let it back out into the wild to live its life. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section below or you can go to my Instagram at Scarlet's Animals. And don't forget, wash your hands really well after touching a blue tongue. Thanks for helping the blue tongues. Bye.